Hey guys, Frox here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is a Mega Drive that has a problem, that's not a problem, that is a problem, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, let me power it on and you'll see exactly what the problem is. And you can see it straight away. Can you see the image twitching? Now, I can tell you straight off the bat this Mega Drive is working 100%. The Scott lead from the Mega Drive to the TV is working 100%. And the TV is working 100%. Now what we're seeing here is the Mega Drive and the TV just don't like each other. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Mega Drive and I'm gonna hook it up to another TV and I'm going to show you it working absolutely fine. Yeah, it's going for it. <laughs> so, okay, I'm in the spare room. I've hooked up this Mega Drive to a another TV. Now, this is a fourth generation TV. I've had about four of the TVs after this. Um, but yeah, I just keep this around. You know, if I'm doing mods or something, I try them on this first so I don't blow up my other TVs <laughs> so yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power on and show you that it's rock solid on this one and there you go no twitching um, and this TV is also a Samsung so yeah it just shows you some mega drives and some TVs just do not get along whatsoever As you saw, I upped this Mega Drive up to another TV. Uh, funny enough, that was a Samsung also. And it worked perfectly fine. But what we're seeing here is a conflict. They do not like each other. Now, when you run into a, a Mega Drive and a TV like this that just don't get on, is to C-Sync mod the Mega Drive because the issue is to do with the video encoder chip the video encoder chip in these mega drives are pretty crap uh, and that's what's causing this issue but yeah what i'm going to do in this video is i'm just going to do a, a simple c-sync mod and it will correct correct this issue that we're having and um, i can understand a lot of people would actually think there's something wrong with their mega drive uh, or with their tv but yeah they're both working how they should be but yeah Let's get in this thing uh, and let's see sync mod it. It's super easy to get into the Mega Drive. You just need to remove four screws. There's one here, there's one here, there's one down here, and the final one's here. Remove those and the top lid will just pop straight off. That's the top lid off. What I need to do now is remove this metal shield. Now to do that, there's a number of screws there's one here, there's one here, there's a couple here, there's one just there, remove it a bit further, there's one there, there's one just here, there's one in this corner just here, and the final one is here. Remove those screws and this metal shield will lift straight off. Now we've got the metal shield out of the way, to get the Mega Drive's PCB out it's pretty simple, we just need to remove two more screws and they are either side of the cartridge slot. Remove those and the PCB will just pop straight out. Now I have the Mega Drive's PCB out of the case. What I can do is strip these down uh, and get them ready for soaking and cleaning. As you can see, um, the case is pretty dirty. So I'm gonna strip it down and give it a clean. So the first thing I wanna do is take care of the bottom case. Now that's super easy. Just remove this support bar for the cartridge slot remove the metal shield uh, and that's the bottom case ready to be put in soak now before I get this top case in soak what I want to do is remove some of the components on the case uh, the first thing I want to remove is the cartridge slot support now to do that I need to remove three screws there's one here there's one here and the final one is just here 
remove those and the cartridge slot support should just pull straight off. That's the cartridge slot housing removed. What I need to do now is remove the power button and the reset button and I also need to remove the light pipe for the power indicator. Now the light pipe I can do here, just grab it and pull it and it pulls straight out. Now what I'm going to have to do is remove these off screen because I've got to pinch them from the side and push them through. So I'll get that done and then show you what it looks like once it's out. That's the Mega Drive's upper and lower case, all dismantled and stripped. What I can do now is get these in soak and give them a good clean. As you can see, I have the upper and lower part of the case and the cartridge slot housing soaking in the bath. And I've got all the smaller components like the reset, the power and the cartridge slot flaps um, soaking in that little cup there. So what I'll do is I'll leave these soaking for half an hour then I'll come back with a toothbrush so I can get in all those crevices and give it a really good clean. Okay, now before I do the C-Sync mod, I just want to show you something very interesting. Now, if you look at this, you would swear this was a third party, that someone else had done this. Um, no, this is a factory bodge by Sega. Uh, this was their way of pre preventing uh, dry joints uh, and the connection issues that you get with dry joints on the input barrel jack for the power input. <laughs> wow. Instead of fixing it properly, f*** it. We'll just put a couple of wires there. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Sega. I've got the Mega Drive PCB out in front of me. Now what I want to do is show you the problem. That isn't a problem. That is a problem. Um, the problem is, that's not a problem, <laughs> is this IC just here. Now this is the video encoder chip. Now the problem with this chip is it's just not very good um, compared to today's modern standards. Um, in the old analog days this, this chip was perfectly fine. Um, but today with modern day TVs, um, some modern day TVs just do not like this video encoder chip. Now what this video encoder chip does is a number of functions but one of its functions is to take the digital signals that are coming from the video processor part of this custom IC. So it will take the digital red, digital green, digital blue, TTLC sync and it will convert them down to analog because obviously our olden day TVs were analog. Uh, it then sends them out, they go through some passive components and then obviously they go out the back here and then get displayed on our TVs. Now one of the other functions uh, this chip does is it takes those video signals I've talked about and generates composite video as well. Now, seeing as we use composite video for sync when we're using RGB, that's where the issue lies. It, it, it lies in the composite video signal. Um, and it's because this chip uh, is not very good at generating, generating its internal sync. Um, and when it muxes that into the composite video, we get that twitching. Um, now, like I said, some TVs will work perfectly fine uh, with this chip. Um, some TVs just won't accept it and we'll get that twitch. But I'm just going to simply C-Sync mod the console. It's quick, it's easy, and yeah, it takes about five minutes. So yeah, I'm just going to crack on with that and show you how you do it. What I want to do now is just confirm pin 10 on this video encoder chip is TTL C-Sync in. Um, always a, a good idea to confirm, you know, never assume. Um, the data sheet says pin 10 is TTLC sync. So I'm going to probe pin 10, which is here. And let's have a look at that on my scope. And yeah, that looks like a TTLC sync. Um, we can see the horizontal pulses and every now and again, you'll see a vertical pulse go through. So yeah, that's TTLC sync. So that's confirmed. Uh, that's uh, TTLC sync in, so yeah, I can work with that now. Now the first thing I need to do to do a C-Sync mod on this console is disable composite video going out the back. 
of the connector and to do that I need to cut this trace just here so what I'll do is I'll cut that and then come back and show you it and that's the trace all cut just there what I can do now is wire in the rest of the C-Sync mod I have the components I need to perform the C-Sync mod now the first component is a 220 microfarad electrolytic capacitor what this will do is it will kill any DC offset that's on the TTL C-Sync signal and the second component is a 430 ohm resistor that's to help attenuate the signal down to a more acceptable level a uh, TV can cope with so yeah I'll get these installed and then show you what it looks like afterwards I've performed the C-Sync mod what I'm going to do now is talk you through it I'll turn the board upside down and there are two places where you can tap into TTL C-Sync the first is directly on pin 10 of the video encoder but if you look down and to the right there is a resistor called R4048 and you can tap into it right at the very top of R48 so yeah that's TTL C-Sync it comes along goes through this wire you turn it upside down it comes down it goes through the positive leg of our 220 microfarad electrode capacitor that just kills off any DC offset the negative leg comes out it goes through our 430 ohm resistor that's to attenuate the signal down to a level a TV is going to like and then we come along out the resistor and we go up and we solder to the point just above where we cut the trace for composite video so yeah and that's the C-Sync mod done what I'm going to do now is hook up power video and I'll pop a game in this thing and we'll see if we've eliminated that shaky image I have a game in the cartridge slot I've got power I've got my RGB SCART connected so let's power on and see if we got rid of that shakiness and it's looking good to me yeah, it was shaking by now so yeah it looks like we fixed it with a C-Sync mod but what I'm going to do now is get the Mega Drive board PCB back in its shell, its case, and then I can wrap up the video. That's the upper and lower shell all cleaned, along with the other parts. Time to get this all bolted back together. As you can see, we're all bolted back together. So let's power on and see if our twitch is gone and it has so yeah there you go guys that's the fix to the problem that isn't a problem that is a problem <laughs> yeah we fixed the twitching so yeah there you go guys hope you like the video please give it a big thumbs up like comment subscribe all the usual stuff and as always I'll catch you on the next one sweet that picture looks great, nice, see some monitor as well. And no more twitching.